just anything, well, first of all, uh, if you just want to talk about your family at all, about your life after retirement here for a couple of minutes, and uh, just anything to wrap it up, maybe. And uh, I've really enjoyed being with you, and uh, uh, you're, I'm going to shut up so you can finish up. Though. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Real quickly, I've got to get out of here. We're going to close the museum very shortly. But uh, they've asked me to talk a little bit about my family. I have a wonderful family. Uh, I have three kids, two boys and a girl. Uh, one of the boys decided uh, he didn't need kids, so the other two had six each. And they had some kind of a race going and uh, competition and uh, wound up with 12 uh, grandchildren. And uh, that wound up with the current number right now is 15 great-grandchildren, coast to coast. California to Cal to Carolina and Florida, and they're wonderful kids. They, I just love them. And uh, three grandchildren that aren't even married yet. So the great grands could be 20 or 25 before we get through here. But uh, we just love them to death. We're very proud of all of them. Uh, my granddaughter will be uh, staying with us very shortly because both my wife. And I are going to have major surgery shortly. My wife is a diabetic and she has some eye problems, so she's going to have to have an operation. And then two days later, I'm going to have knee replacement. Oh, right. That happened uh, in 53 when I had to crash land the V50. And it was all ripped up and torn out. So they're going to replace it with new technology. And this is going to happen within the next two weeks. So uh, I have a wonderful family. I'm very proud of all of them. Yeah, so, uh, and I don't want to, I, I have to mention that I had two wives, not at the same time. But uh, my first wife was a wonderful woman. We had a lot of fun together. But uh, I don't know the whole story, but... Uh, she got tired of being an Air Force wife who was gone all the time. And that's all I'll say about it. And then I was a bachelor for five years and got remarried. And she's a good one, too. So I've had two winners. Yeah, what's your wife's name, though? My current wife is named Deanna, Wonderful. called D. D double E. Diana. Well, great. Well, thanks, Bill. Um, real quickly before I let you go, one more question. How yeah. did you end up here at Hiller? We uh, met you here and we appreciate all the good work <clears> you do here. But talk talk about Hiller and then we'll uh, unplug the camera. Okay, well, I've retired four times. I just I can't can't quit working. I had uh, a wonderful uh, career with the Air Force and uh, I went to work the day after I retired from the Air Force I went to work the day after for this fellow who had offered me a job previously as uh, a chief pilot for his company and I did but that requirement kept me uh, flying his staff and his father on a moment's notice. And I can see why a lot of guys get out of uh, uh, company flying, professional flying. Because this old fella was the founder of the company and he would call me in the middle of the night and tell me to pick him up in San Diego tomorrow morning at 8.30. You know. So I'd go pick him and his girlfriend up and take him to Las Vegas. Yeah. You know, and then after a year of that, it was just a little too much. And uh, I had another offer, a really good offer, from an old friend of mine who uh, in B-52s. And uh, I was sitting in the office one day wondering what to do. And... Uh, he knocked on the door and I happened to look up and it was this old guy I'd known 15 years before, you know, good friend. 
And he said, uh, how's it going? I said, not well. <laughs> and so he sat down and I told him some of the story. And he said, well, the reason I dropped in was he said, we have a, a aeronautics and um, uh, expert airplane and aircraft expert in our uh, San Francisco office who just took a job with Motorola. And he said, uh, I knew you were down here. And he said, that's why I'm here. And we could use you right away. <laughs> Do you want a job? And I said, hell yes. <laughs> so I... What they want you to do? Uh, fly. Okay. And, uh, okay. and I was also... I had uh, a long history in accident investigation and, and uh, aircraft safety and that sort of thing. So uh, I took a job and uh, their clients were Lockheed and Boeing and, and um, people like that. So I had a lot of fun working with airlines and Lockheed and Boeing and uh, people like Hughes Air West, which about drove me wild. Yeah. He's a crazy old guy. But, uh, Is that still owned by Howard Hughes? Yeah. Oh, that, he, I have to admit he's a person who fascinates me. Oh, me to too. And I was fascinated by him. But uh, Another pilot. Oh, well, hell yes, he was a great <laughs> pilot. But he was also crazy. Yeah, oh, yeah. I just and in 1971, yeah. uh, Congress passed, uh, Nixon signed, the uh, Occupational Safety and Health Act. And so everybody had to really quick get in, get in business and get themselves a, an OSHA oh, act, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, sure. was, yeah. And Big Hughes kid. said, I'll be damned if I will. He said, I'm a pilot and I'm an FAA guy and I fly by FAA rules and I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> to hell with OSHA. And one of his vice presidents, Mr. Green, told him, Howard, not going to be able to do that. Uh, you have a lot of other things going besides airplanes. You own seven casinos in Las Vegas. Uh, you own uh, uh, oil wells, and you own Hughes Tool Co., which manufactures all those great Hughes tools. He said, you can't just tell OSHA to go to hell. So uh, he wouldn't hire me. So what he did was uh, there was a great broker in those days in L.A. who was their broker, Frank B. Hall. They're gone. They're merged with Aon now. But um, he said, uh, turn it over to Frank B. Hall. Let them do what they want to do. So Frank B. Hall hired me. <laughs> and I had a huge Air West badge. They had 72 locations in those days in Canada, Mexico, United States. So I would go to all of their uh, stations whenever I thought it was necessary. And I would teach the key staff what OSHA was and then get the hell out of town. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, I and think then you've got a few more stories for us, Bill. But anyway. Oh, God, yes. I've got some others, but uh, not right now. I'm going to close the museum Thanks, there. Thanks, Bill. Thank what you time is it? Like five minutes okay, so I'm oh, yeah, we got to get out of here. Okay. Okay, let me get you in. I, I promise, Willie, oh, that we'd be out of here. Oh, we're sorry. Oh, yeah.